Good afternoon. As you can see, it's a beautiful day up here in northern Florida. Thought I'd come into the garage and get one more thing done before I went to work for the next two weeks. Uh, in case I hadn't told you, I am a truck driver, car hauler. So when I leave, I leave for two weeks at a time and then I come home for two weeks. Makes it kind of nice. On to the car. Today, we are removing the brake booster. There it is right there. As you can see, I've got it unbolted already and I'll show you the reason why. When you come down in here, there's four bolts that hold it in place. There's two on this side. The uh, You can see the one sitting there. The other one that uh, you can kind of see it, but that big loom is in the way. Then there's two more at exactly the same height on the other side of the steering column. And the bottom one isn't bad. The top one, I had to drop the steering column, which is that bolt and that bolt. It only dropped it three inches, but it was enough. I got in there with this. 9 16 with a knuckle and a long extension. I used my M18. It broke them all loose without a problem. The one right here that the wire loom is in the way is a double bolt. It has... Uh, one bolt on the inside, and then it's got a bracket that holds the wire loom in place with another bolt there. So you got to make sure you get them both off. Then there is a pin that goes through the brake pedal. Right up here at the top of the brake pedal, there is a pin with a clip on it. You can get in there with a screwdriver, you bend the clip, you pop it off, then you just pop the pin out to the other side. It's better to do this when the bolts are still kind of tight on the booster or at least not loosen because as soon as you do that the booster falls so now that it's disconnected from the brake pedal we're going to come out here i've already taken off the master cylinder and the two brake lines to the uh to it because i thought they were going to be in the way it turned out they weren't the lines got to come off but you could have left the master on and as you can see as soon as i disconnected that rod the chamber basically fell forward. Okay, just wanted to make sure you can see it. So once that happens, as you can see, it pulls right out. This was connected to the brake pedal. That's the one that was giving me all the problems. Once you take it out, you're pretty much done. It's not that hard of a job with the dashboard off. But with the dashboard on, I got to think it would be a major issue. So that is uh, my video for today. I will be at work for the next two weeks, so I won't have any more for a little while. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to pull all of this off of here. Now, what I did, because I am a novice, and a lot of this is going to be here, a lot of it's not with the new motor, but I took pictures anyway. We're going to pull all of this off, including the springs and the system to open the hood and lock the hood down. We're going to pull all this off in here, 